Hello everyone, it's me once again. So following up to my previous video titled iPhone Pro Max or iPhone Pro Sucks, um, I got another insult <laughs> for those who are just about to purchase iPhone 11. Uh, so I got some articles here, so let's check it out. So here it goes. So from my previous video, I was actually highlighting about the RAM uh, being both um, Pixel 4, 4 and also the iPhone 11 having 6 gigabyte RAM and also now Pixel 4 will have a slightly better uh, milliamp hour um, battery life than iPhone Pro Max. Uh, that is actually for Pixel 4 XL. And now we're actually going through the most emphasized part from the recent Apple event about the camera qualities and how good it is. They like Apple was like keep saying how good it is and so on. But the title, this is actually from the Sun, uh, quite well known tabloid on a British tabloid. And they're saying that coming soon, check out this title, Google Pixel 4 to launch a next month with a camera that's even better. <laughs> than iPhone 11. So this image will summarize to you. So the camera face off, so one, one to one each other versus. Now, <laughs> the dual lens on the rear camera for iPhone 11 has 12 megabytes, both of them. And a single lens, as you can see here, front facing camera. So especially there was none of discussion, I believe, during the Google, sorry, the Apple event about the front-facing camera. So it, clearly they're not really upgrading anything on that side. So it was quite boring in some way, but check out what Google Pixel 4 we're expecting from. So unlike the 12 megapixel, Google 4 will have 12 megapixel and a 16 megapixel on the rear facing camera. And also on the front, it's a rumor to have dual front-facing camera because one of the things I really enjoy about the front-facing camera to have dual is that you have the wider selfie version, which is something that you can't really have with your iPhone. So, um, well, there's an extra about this new mode to boost low-light photography, which was highlighted in the Apple event, but it's not a bit of a surprise, actually. And also the motion mode, which sounds very unique for Google, but Google actually came up with many magic with their software. So. It's not only the Sun who's actually highlighting about <laughs> how the um, iPhone 11 is facing its downfall and so on, but um, it's rumored that Google Pixel 4 is likely to be priced around $750 or £750. As I predicted, I actually overestimated the price. It's going to be slightly more cheaper than I thought it's going to be. Google is has always been good with their price before, as I said in my previous video. 750 for the spec um, better than iPhone Pro, 11 Pro, which is about 1,000 to 1,000 and was it? 1,900 dollars. You should really get a um, Google Pixel 4 or 4XL for better value. Um, so it's not only the sun, so it's also the uh, other, the mirror, which is quite well known as well, which I saw from my Google News feed yesterday. And it's pretty much the same context, but um, it's mainly about this leaked footage. So please check out the video clip uh, available on this web page. But mainly it's just people, the voice is getting louder and louder that Pixel 4 is officially becoming the iPhone 11 killer. Sounds very offensive, but it's true. So would you still rather spend another three to 400 US dollars or British pounds to stick with the iPhone ecosystem? Or would you actually make a big decision, pay for better price um, and good value product called Google Pixel 4 or 4 XL? My best um, conclusion regards to this whole situation is, if I were you, um, I would get Google Pixel 4. If you really want a slightly better battery life, XL, but I think Google Pixel 4 itself will be the most uh, best 
flagship phone and I reckon, as I said from my previous video, this year it's, it's clearly becoming a turning point where Google can now all of a sudden can beat um, easily Apple, but maybe it's going to become one of the best uh, smartphone that is going to be available from now on. So we shall see. So well done Google, <laughs> exposing the hypocrisy of Apple. And I'm very excited about this actually. So let me show you this again. Front facing camera, Apple, 12 megapixel, 12 megapixel, two of them. And then Google Pixel 4, 12 megapixel and 16 megapixel. Now, whether we're going to get a 4K, um, I'm sure Google could do their magic with their software about 4K. Uh, the night mode, which Google already had actually, I think it got gone better recently for this Android 10 update. And um, it's still a rumor, but as you know, Google has been very bad with keeping their privacy, the leak and so on. They have actually, by the time it was all released, everyone knew what Pixel 3 was about last year. Um, it was about this whole bezel kind of thing, what's gonna be and that. But anyway, we got a very exciting time for Google and I really personally hope that Google will smash uh, the hypocrisy of what Apple's doing and Apple should be really punished for what they have done. Really, they ha well, what they have not done really because they haven't actually made much progress comparing to last year. It's just a better spec with same price, is it? And tech company like Apple should really be ashamed of themselves or what they have done. Anyway, so thank you very much for watching this video. Have a nice weekend. Bye-bye.